Hey, are Catholics Christians? Man, welcome back to my channel, and we are going to be going into this thought-provoking topic today. We'll be addressing that question, are Catholics Christians? This sparks debates and misconceptions, and we're here to provide some clarity. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, get that bell notification. You guys know the drill, because we are about to jump into the Bible and talk about are Catholics Christians? To tackle this question, we need to properly understand both Catholicism and Christianity and explore their historical and theological connections. Let's begin with Catholicism. Catholicism is one of the largest Christian denominations in the world. It follows the teachings of Jesus Christ like Christian denominations. Catholics believe in the Holy Trinity, the Bible, and the resurrection of Jesus. Catholics have distinct rituals such as mass. They have a hierarchy, a structure with the Pope as their spiritual leader over the entire denomination. These elements set them apart from other Christian denominations. But is there anything in their rituals and their beliefs and their traditions that make them not Christians? Christianity, on the other hand, is a broader term encompassing various denominations, including Protestants, Catholics, maybe, we'll find out by the end of the video, and you got Baptists and Methodists and all the other different types. There's a broad, diverse group of us with no central leader and no real uniformed practices. We leave most of the Christian practices up to the own denomination's interpretation of scripture. The denominations do share core beliefs, such as our faith in Jesus Christ as the savior, but it can differ in different areas for the, for the Christians, but he has got to be Lord and Savior for that denomination to be a Christian. So are Catholics Christians? The answer is yes, they are indeed Christians. They fall under the umbrella of Christianity as they, they believe in the teachings of Jesus Christ. However, they have their own unique theological, liturgical traditions that distinguish them from other denominations. And that's a little bit what I want to also talk about. Why is there such a divide between Catholics and Christians? And it because, it's because there are some key areas where they do different things and hold different characters in a different reverence. So think of Catholicism as a branch of Christianity family tree. While they share the common root of Jesus Christ, they have developed their own distinct identity over the centuries. They are probably the oldest in what they call the original denomination or the original group of Christians. Now let's address some of the common misconceptions. It's essential to dispel some of these myths to foster a better understanding. I'm gonna open up with probably one of the more popular myths, or uh, I would have to say things that are different with Christians versus Catholics, and that is Mother Mary. In reality, Catholics regard Mary with a high and great respect, which oftentimes can be confused as worship like they worship Mary because they pray to her or they pray to her in her name. The truth is they do not actually worship Mary as the way they worship God. Instead, they only have Mother Mary in a very high reverence that you don't really see in other denominations. Another thing where they're highly different is the Bible. The Catholics have about seven more books depending on which form of Catholicism you're looking at. They have about seven more books than the modern Christian Bible has. Let's say a Protestant Bible has 66 books inside of what they call and we know as the Bible. Catholics have more than that. They have the Apocrypha. They have other books as well that they have canonized and it called their Holy Scripture. But Protestants, we do not agree in on that. We have our 66 books. There, that is our canonization and that is our Bible. That is where we differ but where we are the same on that canonization of the Bible is they also have our 66 books of scripture. Now let's talk about where we agree. We both believe in the existence of Jesus and his second coming. We also agree where Jesus is the son of God who came in human flesh and that there is only one true God and he is the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. They agree that God is holy, and righteous where man is sinful and broken and in need of a savior. They also believe that when we die, we are brought back to life after an eternal judgment has been rendered, either sending us to heaven or they also agree there is a place of eternal punishment known as hell. And above all else, they believe that Jesus came to die for our sins 
and after three days he beat sin and death and rose again. In conclusion, Catholics are Christians. Christianity is not limited to Catholicism. It's a diverse faith with various denominations. We all have our own traditions and interpretations. So above all else, walk in unity. Walk in love. Show some love to Catholics, to Protestants. Let's work together. Let's lift up the name of Jesus because there's a lost and dying world out there that's being oppressed by that sin that needs that savior and we are the ones whether catholics or protestants chosen to bring him to this world so man thank you guys for checking out this video i am so stoked you took the journey hit that subscribe button check out another one of my videos i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video